Although it's been a while since I last recorded this, like I said, I have this game on my Switch and I've been playing it there. I'm feeling rather sleepy and I might go to bed early. Honestly, I'm not even supposed to be playing right now. I was supposed to do some programming. I said I'd do that today and the day's almost over and I haven't done any and I still don't really feel like it. Anyway. So, uh, I've got some stuff I need to do. Like meeting trial, tour... So, two things, importantly. I guess I'll start with normal stage mode. So, oddly enough, I really... Vanilla Ice is kind of like my favorite. Mostly because I think it's... I just want to clear the game with one character before I clear... Uh, I don't know. Completionist bullshittery. Because it feels so messy, and since I started with Vanilla Ice and she's, she's the one that's recommended and stuff, I ended up just sticking with her. Even though... I don't know, it's still kind of a toss-up for me between... Yuri and Ujako. Yuri has that cool attack thing. But the attack thing isn't really all that useful in the extra stage. Oh, I need to check first if I have assist turned off. Uh, but the cheat shield is super useful in the final boss and in the extra stage and stuff. And it's just a lot safer too. But if you want offense, look no further than Yuri. Along with the speed. I don't know. How do. Oh, here we go, game config. Yep. Top mode's off, good. Yeah, my favorite setup is for Yuri is Dark Rampage. Uh, slide form homing. BB. What is her A anyway? Ah, boring. BBB. For Yuri Coco. For Ujako, it would definitely be. BAB. And then AAB for. Vanilla. Anyway, I beat... I beat it with Vanilla, so I might as well beat it with Vanilla here as well. On my Twitch, from my... in my Twitch. It, yeah, I've already managed to beat this... this game... this... on Expert, without Helper. So let's do that again. I'll do the same for Nightmare all the way until Phase 7, because... Who knows, maybe if I, maybe since I'm playing in keyboard, I might be, I can't do it on the Switch, because playing with a controller kind of sucks. Turns out, I'm really just way better at playing. If it's with a keyboard. Speak, but also, I say that, but it's actually been a while since I played a bullet hell with a keyboard. I feel a little rusty. My hands are so used to playing with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Frustratingly enough. I like wide form because homing does technically have infinite range, but if there's like a spread of enemies far out, of, far apart from each other, uh. Switching to unfocused firing just allows you to hit a lot of enemies at once. And you know, homing because I don't need to worry about aiming. For focus. And it's still technically stronger. 
both provide the a good area coverage. In other words. Homing for unfocused and then the straight line. I just don't like. It's basically how Reimu how it's basically Reimu's shot type and I never quite agree with it. I much prefer Sanai's play style. Where it's the focused shot that's homing. I love how the first power always matches up syncs up with the with the guitar riff showing up. I want to know something nice about the Switch version of this game. Although it's entirely unintentional, most likely, there is slowdown in that game, on on this game on the Switch. Most likely because the Switch fucking sucks ass. Yeah, like this section right here, in Fever with unfocused, just mouse them down real quick. I probably should have. I probably could have even gone up and collected, used the POC and get some extra points in. Then I might have got, given me an extra life, which would have been very useful, which would be very useful. And I like getting high scores, but I've never been good at doing score runs. I mean, I can't even beat any of these games in the hardest difficulty. What chance do I have? of doing all the ballsiest shit and routing shit out to make sure I get the highest score possible. I can't do this in Nightmare, what- how can I do it in Expert? That- that purple wave- oh, and this wave too sucks. Oh, I dodged it! Yo! How did I do that? I need to reach you. There you go. Although I am sleepy, I have gotten back my bullet hell eyes, as in I've gotten very good at looking at bullet patterns again. But when I first started playing Bullet of Bullet Dreamers, it's been a while since I've played any bullet hell games. I was a little rusty. But now my eye knows exactly how to do things again. I want to save it for the dragon, but the dragon is still very far away anyway. Are way too fast in Nightmare for me to be able to restream like that. Yeah, I usually do that, and that usually kills me because point blank dodging is, believe it or not, very hard. I still haven't been lost stage 9. I need to make sure I don't get hit six times. And that uh, it counts death bombing as getting shot. 
so I need to make sure I don't even get close enough to being death bombed. Bombing is fair game though. So as long as I bomb early enough and play the safest game that I can. Uh, and I need to do it in either all stage tour or, or trial mode. It only counts the amount of tank you've gotten hit in the final stage, not all the stages total, thankfully. And uh... <laughs> Now the real final boss starts. What's with the first phase of all the bosses in this game? Being so damn long. And difficult. Shit. I don't like this final boss theme. And I don't like the OSP of this game in general. It's passable, but I it's not a, it's not my cup of tea personally. This song's definitely my least favorite though. Unfortunate because if there's one song book any game should never fuck up, it's the final boss. I've been making a lot of mistakes, but I should still be fine, honestly. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm using A. <laughs> For unfocused. Definitely not getting 800k. Ah, shit. Come on, there was no escape from that. There's a bomb shield in this final phase. Of course she does. But that's fine. I mean, look how much lives I have left still. And honestly, this final phase isn't that bad. Her second to last was is definitely way worse. Well, fever. Right at the end. Ah, no! Aw, oh, man. That's a silly mistake. Very silly indeed. Uh, and the higher difficulty, you get more chances to be hit, but your best bet of unlocking stage 9 is still just. on the Lord difficulty. Uneasy, normal, and expert. It's 6 shots on Nightmare, it's 8, and then 10 shots for Chaos. Assuming you don't need to beat it in every- to beat 
trial and the prerequisite difficulty to unlock all of stage 9's difficulties, in which case you will fuck. Uh, I do like this song though, it's my favorite song in DLC. I know, you guys didn't come here to listen to fucking LSD. It is kind of a shame, I mean, who knows, maybe I still haven't unlocked it. But there's no music listener. I mean, maybe they didn't have as much, that much faith in their OST as well. Maybe they didn't think the game's OST is, is as good. They don't think the game's OST is... They think that the game's OST is just as good as I feel about it. I know, there's probably, there's probably a game riff somewhere I can listen to. I don't even know if these songs loop properly or if they have an actual outro. Anyway, let's do Nightmare now. Trial's too much of an investment for this silly little goose right now. Sleepy little goose right now. Mm, I'm a goose. Embarrassing, but honestly, that wasn't really all that different from how it went in the Switch for me. One thing I don't like about the OST is that the bosses don't have their own unique themes. Stages 1 to 3 and then 4 to 6, 4 to 7 all use the same OST. I guess that really is just Toho's own thing, huh? Thank 
My replays don't really matter anyway. And besides, most of these are on assist. I don't mind getting rid of them. I'm not too confident in stage 3, but stage 4 I might definitely fail a few times. Honestly, I'm, I don't expect myself to get to stage 7 right away in this part. I only plan on playing for 30 minutes. Moving around is so much smoother feeling. With a keyboard. I can make such tight, much tighter turns. Bob. I just realized something. But this game doesn't have a power system. It really is still just Toho that still uses something like that. As vulgar as that. Upgrade systems for power should be reserved to long-term games. Not arcade shooters. Like Toho. Light Beamer is actually a longer game. How did I dodge that? I can't even beat the final stage right now, even with assist. I mean, I got kind of close. I got to the second to last stage. <laughs> way homing works, it's actually, th that pattern is actually a lot easier if you're not playing as your, uh, as vanilla. Fuck. I do like the stage system. Essentially, the practice mode of the game is the main game, and then the actual arcade experience is a bonus. The game's very accessible. I guess if there's one thing making the game accessible, it would probably be the art style as well as the characters.
a lot of degenerates out there think over sexualization's a bad thing. Hey, don't play Yuri. <laughs> or vanilla, both. Although that'd be a severe disadvantage. It's easy and normal difficulty would definitely be a breeze. With A A A A. Vanilla. And I haven't played those difficulties yet. Pretty sure they'd be pretty, way too boring for me. I still haven't decided how to best dodge this. Should I follow the purple bullets? Or should I try to avoid steer clear as much as I can? That'll just make me go get back into a corner sooner or later and then it'll make dodging the inevitable way harder. Going inside the lane is also just it's just fucking bullshit, man. Bombs. The good mouse. Oh yeah, remember? I mean, assuming you watch my videos regularly, you should know in my Resident Evil 5 playthrough. I've been having mouse problems. I've been having them since my playthrough with Mum. My replay through of Resident Evil 4. Remake with Mum. Don't ask me how. Because I don't know either. Damn it, I swear I pressed X. how she holds her joystick. Interesting. I much prefer holding the ball top. Fuck, what hit me? There's all sorts of ways people hold a joystick. And it's all technically up to preference, as well as it depends on the character you're using. Or even the game you're playing. I'm pretty sure the way she's gripping the joystick is not a good way to grip it if you're playing a bolt hell like this. You're much better with a bot with a top grip. Although I suppose the top grip is a lot more sexual looking. Oh no, it's a side grip. Like she's holding a sword. With a very, very... Well, I guess it would be more like she's holding a sword by holding it at its pommel. I don't know, there's probably names for all the ways you hold joysticks. I'm sure fighting get the fighting game community, community has terms for everything that they do. And I'm talking as if I'm not part of the community myself. 
come with the lag, what the fuck? That's... I'm not playing on the Switch, am I? I just shook my head right now. <laughs> Maybe it was one life more than usual at least. I swear the hitbox on those bullets don't exist. aim but with the way she moves around it makes it so hard to predict like i'm almost convinced it's just luck this one's just all about minimal movement i like i like bullet patterns that are all about minimal movement so i'm like luigi i love doing nothing I just needed to get my shit together. Oops. Stupid the idiot or something. <laughs> Aqua community. Honestly, this stage is pretty mad as well.
I hate these pillar worm fish things. I'm pretty sure they're based off of a fish. An eel, maybe? They remind me of the snakes in stage 4 for Dan Mako Limited 3. What about us? This one's still really easy. There's more bullets, but it's still technically the exact same bullet pattern. stream of bullets are too fast. Yuri Koko literally isn't fast enough to restream. She just has to kill. That's her only choice. Should be easy enough if you're using homing. in the wrong direction and die with these submarine bu wall bullets. And I love going in the wrong direction for those. But that's embarrassing. I said these guys were so easy. Manta rays, I believe those are. I need to check the audio later. This is my favorite boss team though. Because of this part. The trap section. million bonus. But it can mean a lot, depending on how you score. It ha it's happened during your quarter. If you get an extra life at the end of the stage due to the end extra score bonus, you'll get the extra score and then, it'll and then, and then the life you get from the extra score gets consumed for the points. So you get even more extra score for the for the extra life. 
that you never even had. <laughs> and yes, I'm playing for an hour. Wait, this... This stage has the fact of bullets. Slowness. Not too slow, though. Alright, no, going in, be in between is just too risky. I'm sure if I was more of a pro gamer, I could do it. I'm not that desperate for a high score. Let's play higher. Holy fuck. Playing high is the way to go though. Usually useful for the bullet health. Not when it's like that. I guess this stage is supposed to represent a community of loners, right? But isn't that kind of a paradox? If you're a loner, how can you be part of a community? I 
I mean, the paradox of being lonely is that there are other people who are also lonely. I suppose. So, I don't know. I'll worry more about dodging bullets for now rather than philosophical bullshittery regarding language and societal culture, social structures. I'm already in the boss. Now with big boobs like her, she probably has a lot of people climbing over her. Instant karma. I still have no idea how to dodge that bullshit. How does being lonely translate to having such fast bullets? Stage 6 is just a reference to the previous game. Don't ask.
Mika. I did so well. I was doing so well. The highway honestly feels the most like a normal shooting game stage since it has a lot of enemies that are pretty typical for shooting games. Especially military themed ones. Military and sci-fi are the most common themes. For shooting games. You got the jets, you got the you got the tank at the drop. Uh, this is another stage song I don't really like. Uh, what hit me? Did the tag fucking hit me? Holy shit, it's hard. <laughs> 
One more try. Why the hell do stage lights shoot such wide bullets? What's the inspiration? It didn't count.